What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm at Lifestyle Appliances Test Kitchen in Elmwood, Louisiana. If you've never been to Lifestyle Appliance, let me tell you, you need to come out here. This place is amazing. It's just a crazy showroom of all the fun toys that you love to play with in your kitchen, your backyard, what have you. And today I'm gonna to be cooking it up for the people here. I'm gonna be making shrimp and tasso pasta. I'm so pumped about this. I have not done this recipe since 2016 on camera. Uh, other than the time I did it at the Home and Garden Show a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but nonetheless, you can find this recipe in my cookbook. If you haven't gotten that yet, please head over to CajunNinjaBook.com and snag you one. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So y'all stick around. I'm about to knock this out. hi -ya! Get your pot. Hit it up! Just like that. Alright, I'm going to turn this volume down. So this pot don't get too hot. Because I'm dropping butter first. Now over my prepping area, I got a pound of pork tasso, which is like the pork shoulder and it's smoked, very flavorful. I got one yellow onion, two sticks of celery, and one red bell pepper. It's time to put the paya on this. Choo! Paya! Also, we gotta get this tasso cut into some thin strips. One stick of butter. Let me show you to your seat. Once that butter's melted, you're gonna go ahead and raise the fire up. That way it can start to melt a little quicker. And when it's completely melted, you drop in the tasso. Things smell delicious from here. So I toss this around for a little bit just to sear up this tasso and the butter. It's gonna add great flavor to this pot. Once it has seared up a little bit and browned on all sides, I start removing it from the pot and putting it into a plate off to the side. Just like this. The drippings that we got left in this pot, we're going to add our vegetables. Woo, man. Scoop that in. So you're going to see some grot in the bottom of the pot. And on camera, it looks really dark here. But trust me, it's a good brown color. Keep moving the vegetables around. The vegetables pull it all up. And man, look at that. You just start pulling some great color. We keep working these vegetables so they get nice and soft. Next, I season with some paya seasoning. And we put roughly half a tablespoon here. Just get these vegetables nice and seasoned. Incorporate that into the butter. Some great flavor right here. Overall, I'll cook these down for roughly 25, 30 minutes. Now off to the side here, I do have some water boiling. I'm boiling up one pound of bow tie pasta. Now make sure you add some salt to your water and you stir in the beginning so that the pasta doesn't stick. As you can see here, the vegetables are looking really good. So about this point, I add some minced garlic. Roughly a tablespoon of minced garlic. Get that stirred in. Woo, listen to that sizzle, man. This smells so good at this point. After cooking the garlic down for about five minutes, I go ahead and add the tasso back to the pot. And just let the tasso incorporate with the vegetables. Get it all stirred in here. After it's been incorporated, I add a little bit of one quart of heavy cream. I want to stir this in and make sure I'm breaking up everything on the bottom. Then I stir the rest of my heavy cream into the pot. I give this a good stir just to make sure I blend everything evenly. And then I go ahead and add one half cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Now you could always add a little more if you want, but this is what I go with. Now it's still going to look a little runny right here, but the cheese is going to slightly thicken it up. And then when we add the pasta, that will help thicken it up as well. Before adding the pasta, I add one pound fresh shrimp that has been seasoned with some paya seasoning. I then gently stir the shrimp into the pot and just keep kind of moving them around until I see the shrimp turn into a light pink color. Shrimp don't take very long to cook, so once you see this color change, that's when you know it's time to go ahead and add your pasta in. So I add the bow tie pasta to the pot, and some of it may still be stuck together, but that's okay. Just gently incorporate the sauce and it will break up. But look at this sauce, man. It's sticking to that pasta right there. And that's because I didn't wash the pasta. And so we continue to just move this around and the sauce will thicken and stick to the pasta. At this point, we turn our music back up. You know, by turning the fire off. And this stuff's ready to go, man. It's going to evaporate some of the water and continue to thicken. But it's time we played up. Let's go. All right, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have pulled it off. Some shrimp and tasso pasta in this lifestyle appliance test kitchen. I made this whole place smell amazing. Well, maybe with the help of the good man upstairs too. I can't say I, I did it all by myself. 
But nonetheless, it looks really good, smells really good. I, I dazzled mine with a little bit of parsley there. You know, just gonna give it, a, give it a little look. You know, I don't know if it's gonna be much flavor, but it's definitely gonna give it some look. We're gonna go ahead and get a bite of this. It is nice and hot. Ooh, you guys can see that. Looks really good, smells good. Let's go. Mm. That is classic shrimp and tasso pasta. It's so good, man. It's, uh, if I could describe the, the sauce itself, it's just like Cajun Alfredo. You know, if I was to say anything about the sauce, it'd be like Cajun Alfredo. It's got good hints of garlic, not too heavy on spice, even though I know my seasoning has a kick to it. When it's cooked down with dairy, like the butter and heavy cream, it tones down, balances well. And then you get that smokiness of this tasso right here. All these flavors together, whew, perfect harmony. Mmm. You guys gotta make this, trust me. Well, that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. We have knocked out shrimp and tasso pasta. It is so good. And if you're in the Elmwood, Louisiana area, which is like right outside of New Orleans, or if you're within an hour at least, I say take a ride out here to Lifestyle Appliances. You will be impressed with the amount of things you can play with. But well, I don't know if you can necessarily play with them, but I like to touch everything. My wife's always fussing me. Uh, but yeah, you can open some drawers, check out some fridges, some dishwashers, what have you, outdoor cooking. Get yourself in here and check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.